Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to construct your own wallet using the free pattern in the description box. This wallet is perfect to customize using your own choice of hardware and cork fabric and it makes a great gift for a friend or for yourself. Cork is a strong durable material for items like wallets and purses. I'm using this cork from Fabric Funhouse, which has a nice fabric backing to it. It's simple to work with, but you will need the right materials to make a strong wallet. Cut your cork pieces, lining, and interfacing according to the free downloadable pattern in the description box. It may be helpful to write with a marking pen the piece numbers on the wrong side of all the fabric and cork pieces. I'll be using this 9014 Super Nonstick Needle by Schmetz. It has a nonstick coating that helps it to glide through the stabilizer and tacky layers in my project, so I'll have an easier time sewing. Next, you'll need the thread you'll be constructing the wallet with. For these first steps, I'll be using 60 weight home deck thread in the top and the bobbin. This is a super strong polyester thread designed to sew with cork, leather, and heavy duty fabric, so your wallet will stay securely stitched together. Wind your bobbin with the 60 weight home deck thread, then thread the machine with the same thread. Take the longer 8 inch zipper, as detailed in the materials list in the pattern, and place it face down on piece 2A of your cork. Using a zipper foot on your machine, stitch along the zipper tape, taking a 5 8 inch seam allowance. Place the other side of the zipper tape face down on piece 2B of the cork and repeat. Use a seam roller to press the cork down away from the zipper. Now, place the corresponding pieces of lining right sides together with your cork pieces. You'll be using piece 2A and 2B. Stitch again, catching the zipper in between the two pieces. Press the lining away from the zipper tape. Now I'm going to change my top thread to the 40 weight home deck thread and increase my stitch length to 3.2 millimeters. The 40 weight thread will give a nice bold look to your stitching. Top stitch close to the seam on both sides of the zipper, cork side up. Lay this completed piece right sides together with lining piece one the one without interfacing, and baste around the edges with a 5mm stitch length. Now place the non-interfaced pieces, 4A and B, right sides together with the interfaced pieces. 
stitch them together, again catching the zipper in between. Press the lining away from the zipper tape, then top stitch along both sides of the zipper as before. Place this piece right sides together with piece number 3 and stitch along the top edge only. Turn your piece right sides out, then trim the pieces even along all edges. Press the piece along the stitched line wrong sides together and lay it zipper side up on one end of your interfaced lining piece one. Interface pieces 6 and 8 up to the fold line, then press along the fold line with wrong sides together. Lay piece 8 flat, then stack on top pieces 7, 6, and 5 to make graduated card holders. Lay this face up onto the other end of lining piece 1. Baste around all ends to secure. Finish the short end by serging or zigzagging. Be aware that using cork for piece 5 and 7 will create quite a heavy fabric on the sides of your wallet once it is turned right side out. If you aren't comfortable stitching through heavy fabric, make pieces 5 through 8 all the same with an interfaced piece of lining. Now place this piece right sides together with your zippered cork piece. Using the 60 weight home deck thread in the top again, stitch both long sides, taking up a 3 8 inch seam allowance. Trim along the sides any excess fabric so that you don't end up with excess bulk. Turn your piece right sides out and check to see that your finished piece will sit inside your clip ends, adjusting if necessary. Press along both long sides with a roller. 
Then switch back to using the 40 weight home deck thread on the top and stitch close to both long edges. Increase your stitch length to 3.2 millimeters and then baste both short ends together. The final step is to add the clip ends. Place some heavy glue inside the clip and along both short ends of the wallet. Push the ends into the clip as far as they will go. Then allow the glue to dry. Use an awl to help you push the ends in fully. Finally, insert the small screws into the clips to further secure it. And that's all there is to it. You have created a fun and practical wallet that's sure to get comments every time you pull it out. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you give us a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe for more great tips and tutorials every Friday. We'll see you all next time.